Hey, Trez, just uh, wanted to get your mindset about turning things around after that second quarter uh, for the team. What you guys were able to do differently to pull away in the second half? Um, we were able to come up with stops, man. Um, I think that's what it came down to. Um, I think we got to the early lead. Um, we kind of got a uh, lackadaisical and, you know, kept us with the ball. Then, uh, you know, our effort and energy kind of just went away um, when we came out to a um, nice lead. And uh, they fought. And we knew this team was going to keep competing. Um, you know, they're a strappy team. Um, even though they had a lot of trades and a lot of guys, you know, changing from their team, um, you know, they're still a fighting team and a team that's going to compete all the way to the end. Um, and they gave us their best shot tonight. You said pretty consistently all season that you're just going to do what the coaching staff asks you. Uh, Frankie told us he talked to you about last game, getting Mark some run. Now you're back in and you get uh, the minutes tonight and play well. Uh, how how does that affect your mindset, Trez? And then how did you how did that impact the way you played tonight at all? Um, I mean, I'm a competitor. I always went out there on the floor, um, especially um, you know like a game uh, the last game we had. Um, and you know it's just. One of the things that you have to learn to deal with, man, but I've been in this position before, man. Uh, I came in this league and played behind, uh, you know, two centers in Dwight and Nene in Houston. So, um, and I've been around veteran guys who, you know, taught me how to take this game as a pro. Um, you know, I had great veterans throughout this league and Trevor Reason and guys like Lou Will, man. So, um, uh, it's about being a pro, man. It's about doing the things, uh, what the team needs and, and what the coach is asking you to do at that point in time. Um, that's all I did. Um, I, I still continue to do my extra work off the court as I normally do, um, just because at the end of the day, um, I'm a worker. Uh, it's how I've been able to get into this game and stay in it, and I'm just going to keep doing all the little things, um, you know, behind closed doors I always do. If As you guys are still waiting on LeBron, obviously, to get whole, but the big man rotation now, you guys are all healthy. What are you guys – bring as a group, um, and how is that a strength for this team? Um, it's a complete diverse uh, group of guys um, that do um, a little different, you know, from each other in every aspect. Um, you know, Dre is a, a dominant force down low um, on defensive end and offenses um, in, in the middle for us. Uh, AD is more of a guy who can, you know, do both with handling the ball and the way that he shoots it. Um, from mid-range and perimeter. Uh, Mark is a guy who can extend it out to the three-point line and pick-and-pop situation, um, but also roll and play make for us. And, you know, me, I, I just try to do all the little, you know, energy things, uh, extra plays. And uh, when guys find me on rolls and just uh, around the basket, I just try to do my job of finishing for them and converting. Um, same thing with Keith. I feel like he's one of those guys with uh, uh, that AD type role, you know, a guy that rolls, post up, um, you know, playing that short-range area, but I can also um, extend to the three. So. It's a complete diverse uh, group of guys um, that gives you a lot of things differently when it comes to, you know, getting on the floor. Hello. Hey, Trez. Uh, last year in the playoffs, uh, Frank, you did a lot of different things with the big man rotation. There were series where neither Dwight or JaVale played. There were series where JaVale didn't play, Dwight did. Or Keith came on big. Uh, it was kind of, it just, it just changed series to series and some guys had to take a seat. Um, is your, is your sense going into these playoffs that it could be the same thing where there might be a series that you aren't in the rotation and maybe a, ser a series where you are? And how, how do you feel about that if that's the case? Uh, to be honest with you, Bill, I don't know what they did last year or how their rotations went in or out of the rotation the guys they had. But um, all those guys you just named, I'm, I'm none of them. Um, I'm Montrez. Uh, I play Montrez's game, and I do what Coach asks Montrez to do towards the team. Um, like I said, same time I've been doing all year playing uh, as hard as I can, doing all the little things that I can for the team to win and just, you know, coming to work um, every day. Uh, like I said, if coach needs me to sit a night or, you know, anything like that, man, I've done it as you can see, but that's, that's not up to me. I don't have no control of that. Um, I'm just going to focus on the things that I can control. And I, I've known that, you know, I'm at my best when I do, I do those things because, you know, if I sit here and start racking my brain on the things I can't control or the things I don't know or what's going to happen, then I'm going to stress myself out and it's not going to be any good for, you know, nobody. So. Yeah. Right. Kind, of, kind of big picture about this team this year. I mean, you guys have had so many guys in and out of the lineup, um, you know, with injuries, with other stuff. Uh, has it been frustrating that this group hasn't fully been able to come together on the court for any real stretch of time? And, I guess, are, are nights like tonight when, you know, things go really badly for a stretch like they did in the second quarter and you guys are able to work out of it, can that be valuable for a team that's trying to build cohesion and chemistry? Um, I, just, I feel like every game, you know, that we play and the injuries that we have is, is valuable and it's a learning process. Um, 
as far as uh, <clears throat> excuse me, as far as um, you know, the not having somebody or um, you know, the way that the season has went with injuries. Everybody's dealt with that, man. We we you see around the league, you know, still to this day, guys are having major injuries and you know going out left and right. Um, it's just one of those things that we have to deal with this year. Um, we're not the only ones that's going through it. It's multiple teams in the league that's going through it. So I think these games are doing a lot for everybody, man. Um, around the league, it's, it's learning and teaching everybody how to play just through a lot of different um, adversity. Um, no matter what, it's COVID injuries, um, you know, rotation. You know, it's a lot of different things that's coming with this season. You know? And I definitely think uh, last year was definitely one of the special um, seasons as far as, you know, going to the bubble and them completing the season. But uh, this is definitely going to be um, one for the books right here, man. Uh, it's the first time guys are, you know, out traveling and we're going to city city with COVID and, you know, playing different protocols and stuff like that. So, um, like I said, last year was definitely one for the books, but this is going to be one for the books as well, man. Um, with guys doing, going through injuries and all the different um, ups and downs that every team had to go through this year. Uh, in that third quarter, um, you seemed to be getting pretty frustrated that, that you felt like you were playing through contact and, and shooting through contact. Then you kind of had that moment where you got the you got the and one, you flexed a little bit. I was sort of wondering what was sort of the emotional build up for you during that stretch, and do, did you get a sense that the emotion of you getting that and one affected the team in any way? Um. Honestly, I definitely think it did affect the team because the guys definitely rallied around that and um, it brought a sense of energy um, that I felt we needed in that uh, point of time as far as, you know, me. Um, it's nothing no different than I do in any other game, man. I play with a lot of energy and a lot of passion because um, every day I get to wake up and, um, you know, put my shoes on and be blessed to play the game of basketball uh, to take care of my family and my loved ones, man. So uh, I'm going to play with the same injury, the same passion in every game. I'm out there um, just leaving it all on the floor, like I said, doing the – little things and um, all the, you know, small things that show up for our team to win and help our team win, really. Last question, Nick Hamilton. Hey, Trez. Uh, Coach talked about, you know, staying together and pretty much keeping that continuity and continue to build the chemistry. What are some of the things that have helped you build chemistry with this team, especially with this being your, your first year with the club? Um, uh, just all the, the team bonding that we do, um, you know, both on and off the court, um, you know, on planes and in the hotel, um, you know, different aspects like that, you know, just being around one another um, throughout the, you know, protocol and, and the safety instances of what we can and can't do. Um, I think we've done a great job of just um, doing team bonding in those instances of the, you know, all the protocols that we have to, you know, abide by. Um, I think that, you know, these guys are one of the best that, you know, just being, building that togetherness as a group, um, not only on the court, but off the court as well.